What's up, guys? How's it going, everyone? It is Tuesday night, 7 p.m. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone had a great Tuesday. Uh, if you did, or even if you didn't, tell me what's going on, guys. Talk to me in chat. All right, so as you can tell, uh, we've got a new cover here. So that's great. So now I created actually a premiere starting and premiere, premiere ending covers. So now I'll have those as so that way people don't think there's still something going on if they happen to come in a premiere at the end of it or anything like that or even at the beginning. There's no expectation that something's already going on. Um, but here we go, guys. So we have um, game seven on tap tonight. This is stars at blues game seven this is for all the marbles this de determines who will advance to the conference finals so without further ado let's go ahead and get this game started here boom let's go so hopefully like i said hopefully everyone's having a great tuesday um i wouldn't know because this is pre-recorded so i don't know how my tuesday's going maybe i'll tell you in chat Maybe something great happened today, and that would be the time for me to tell you that if something did. But even if it didn't, you know, hopefully everyone else is having a good Tuesday. And if you're not, I'm sorry. It'll get better. Just pray on it if you're into that. Um, think about, think positively, as positively as you can. Think about good times and not the bad times. You know, think about good things, not the bad things. So, aside from this game going on, obviously we'll focus on this too, but um, so in the last, last night, I was talking about a show. Oh, because I was talking about how I needed a show to watch, or I wanted to find something else different to watch, because I watch, I rewatch a lot of the same shows. Oh, someone lost their stick. Oh, my gosh. Someone from St. Louis just got, or from Dallas just got blasted. I didn't even notice the hit. I just saw he just got disengaged from his stick. <laughs> That's all I saw was just a stick went flying in this. And then there, oh, there's some dude laying on the floor up there. Oh, what a bad pass. Um, so, oh, bad turnover for Dallas there. So I've watched 20, I've watched, I've rewatched The Shield, I've rewatched 24, and again, those are long, those are long, uh, series, like The Shield, now granted, The Shield's slightly different because there's far less episodes in a season compared to 24, 24, there's 24 episodes each season, so 8 times 2, what, that's 160 some episodes, well, certainly more than that, 24 times 8, whatever the hell that is, um, it's a lot. There's a lot of episodes that I watch. So I watched all those. And then The Shield, I think, is about like 10 or, you know, maybe a half that, if that, per season. And Shield was seven seasons long, if I remember correctly. I think, yeah, it was seven seasons, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe eight. It may have been eight as well. I can't remember. But either way, so... I was like, I've been seeing the advertisements that everyone is, I'm sure, probably heard of the Jack Ryan series, uh, the Amazon original series with uh, the guy who plays, I forget his name, the dude who plays Jim from The Office. I always forget his name. John Krasinski, that's who it is. John Krasinski. Um, he, um, you know, he's obviously the star of that show. They also have the guy, I don't know the black dude's name. He plays the, the character Bunk Moreland in The Wire. Um, he's, he's the, the heavier set looking dude. Um, he's in the series as well. So that's actually kind of why it's partly intriguing to me is that he's in there as like a cop kind of guy, you know, from the CIA essentially. And, but I just watched on Sunday, I watched one episode and I actually I really enjoyed it the first episode of the series it was actually really good and it was it kind of started things up so it basically built up the story real fast the episodes are I think it was about an hour long 
Um, whereas like with 24, I think it's more like 45 minutes once you get past all the, because they filled it with commercials and stuff. So it was about 45 minutes for 24, and the Shield is about 40 minutes or 45 minutes, something like that. So they filled up their hour with commercials as well. Originally, oh my God, what a hit. Oh, you know what? I need to get this set up. I forgot about this. I need to set up my spreadsheet because I didn't actually uh, get the set up for game sevens. Oh, that was going on the power play now. Tripping. Alright, sorry about that. I needed to make sure I have that set up so I can track when all the goals were scored <clears throat> for future goal highlight reel. But yeah, so I saw, I watched Jack Ryan, and, you know, it seemed pretty good. Um, you know, it looked like they had a, they didn't really get that many great ratings for season two. Uh, but season one looked like it had a lot of great, a lot of good ratings. So we'll have to see how that goes. I don't, I'm assuming they're still making the show. Maybe, but with coronavirus, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know, like, are we producing, I'm assuming we're not producing movies right now, right? Or TV shows. I don't know how that works. You know, I never really thought about that too much. But there's only two seasons for Jack Ryan right now. And I'm assuming that it's continuing, but I'm not 100% certain, to be honest. So I didn't really watch. I didn't really look for that information. I just saw, I'm like, you know what? It's it's always shows up in my potential things to watch. So I figured I'd give it a shot because I needed something new. I needed something different, something different to, to like. So if it's a series that I like, then it's something that I, oh, go. Dallas. Mm. Is St. Louis really going to squander away this series? Remember, St. Louis, again, St. Louis is down 3-1. to one, So, I mean, I guess they didn't really squander it away. I mean, but are they going to are they gonna let their comeback? Again, they were, that, was on the, that was a power play goal. As you saw, the guy just come out of the penalty box. They moved the puck around. They had shots. They retrieved the puck. They outworked the penalty killers till eventually they're able to cash in. Damn. How do you how do you beat glove side? I don't know. I felt like he had a good angle. Like how do you how do you get beat glove side like that? Two teams we talked about it earlier this morning at the morning skates. Nobody thought the game was gonna be so yeah. So I watched Jack Ryan, um Oh I was gonna I was gonna there was something else I was gonna talk about, but I didn't really uh get to that point there before the Last game was over, but yeah, I was gonna talk about. I don't know anyone else who's like this, but I'm also I'm a very I'm a very uh, mo when I when it comes to like my ability to produce, which is kind of bad. It's good and bad. A lot of my ability to produce, whether it's at work, I'm just being very open and honest about this. But whether it's at work or even at home, like with tasks, yeah, or chores, as they not tasks, but chores, you know, basically tasks. Um, you know, I've been <clears throat> pretty l lacking on like my cleaning around the house and stuff like that. Um, and you know, with the stuff that was going on with like you know Natasha for the past couple of weeks and stuff like that, like that just I just didn't have any desire to like want to do really much of anything. So the fact that I was even producing Sims was a miracle in itself. But I did tell someone. I mean. When, when I'm feeling, when I'm not feeling emotionally sound, like when I just feel bad emotionally, like I just don't want to do anything. And it took, it took everything in me to produce Sims, to just do Sims. Like again, it was like, you have to have a desire to want to do something. You know, in addition to just being able to, even just feeling like you want to do it. You know, feeling, feeling you want to do it and wanting to do it aren't, you know, isn't one and the same, you know, because like I really I wanted to do the Sims, but then like, you know, my emotions were kind of like, ugh, like I just, I don't, oh my God, dude, 
I, you know, my emotions were kind of, you know, they were really just, they just get the best of me. They really do. My emotions do get the best of me when it comes to stuff like that. And, you know, work's been really rough because of all this stuff that rhymed. <clears throat> work's been really rough, actually, well, not just this, but even, like, the divorce stuff. Work's been rough because of that, too. That's, that's made it really rough. Um... All right, so it looks like we're coming to the end of the first period here with Dallas up by one. Uh, all right. So end of one, Dallas up by one in St. Louis. Remember, this is game seven in St. Louis. St. Louis, should, you know, essentially they have all the momentum on their side. You, you've won three games in a row. Or no, you've won two games in a row. And you're back home for game seven. Like, you couldn't ask for, like more momentum <laughs> you know I mean other than maybe having been down three games to none and then coming back and winning four in a row you know that's the only other thing you could really have asked for but you know that's it that's the only way you get any more momentum than this but once I talked to but I guess the point was is that once I talked to Natasha on Friday then like I got like Again, that motiv that motivated me. I had a lot of mo motivation going into the weekend. So like Friday night, I ended up cleaning dishes because I was like my my kitchen was just like my kitchen sink was like nasty, man. I had I had piled up some dishes because I was just lazy about it. Oh, a three on one essentially. Uh, then they tied up the numbers and oh turned it over. Yeah, I was being I was just really lazy and just didn't feel like doing much of anything. Yeah, you know, I hadn't washed clothes in a while, but like, so like, oh my gosh, this is a bad shot. Oh my goodness, that was close. So St. Louis needs to start with a goal somewhere, you know, they're at, again, you're at home. Like you need to build some level of momentum here. Um, but like, so once I talked to her, then like Friday I felt like really motivated. So then Friday night, I ended up like just. Filling up the dishwasher. I hadn't been using the dishwasher a lot recently, actually. What a terrible shot. What the hell was that? I've just been washing dishes by hand because usually I wash them like right away and I don't stockpile dishes in my kitchen sink. So I didn't normally use the dishwasher because then like I would stockpile dishes and then by the time I needed to use one, then they were all in the dishwasher and then it was like, oh great, now I got to wait like three hours for the dishwasher to wash the dishes. Oh, okay. And um, so then that would that would suck because then I always needed a dish and then I could then I didn't have any because they were all in the dishwasher and so whatever. So then I just stopped using the dishwasher because of that. But uh, so then I just put them in the dishwasher since I had so many and was just like, okay, I'll just let the dishwasher do its thing. And then while I was doing its thing, then. I went and did whatever the hell I did on Friday night, but then like Saturday, then of course Saturday I went and did the, uh, oh, maybe I record, did I record a sim? Yeah, I think I did actually, because the last sim was like Saturday morning, right? Something like that, or Friday night, I can't remember. Yeah, I did, I think I recorded the one Friday for Friday or something like that, so, but, um, then Saturday I did the, the grass, so I cut the grass and the, the, all the grass in the yard. Not just one part of the yard, like sometimes I do when I'm feeling really lazy. And uh, so I did all that. Then then Saturday after all that, after I took my shower from cutting the grass, then I went and uh, I spent the rest of Saturday night literally washing clothes. Like I had so many clothes. I hadn't washed clothes in like a month. I had so much clothes to wash and I had to wash my bed sheets and all that stuff and my blanket and everything. And uh, so I did all that too, and that that takes hours for anyone who washes their own clothes. Because I mean, really, it's mainly just the drying part that takes forever. It's like 75 minutes per load to dry. So I had like five or six loads I needed to do, and that was like literally I was up to like 1:30 in the morning waiting for my 1:30 in the morning on Sunday waiting for my blanket to dry. That was like the last thing I needed. I don't know why I decided to wash the blankets last. I just did, or the blanket last. It's, I just did, so that was kind of dumb on my behalf. But I ended up having to wait till 1:30 in the morning on Sunday for it to dry, and then after that, then I was good, and I had all my clothes washed and my sheets and pillowcases washed and all that crap. 
Oh, good save. That was like a deflected puck. And then I ended up ordering new... Then I also took like... Saturn only took some time because then I spent like a few hours. I think it was like a couple or a few hours. I can't remember. It was a long time I spent because I was trying to buy... I was trying to buy more underwear. But these uh, like these boxer briefs that I've got... So a certain someone bought these for me before from like the Dower Tree or some crap like that. And they were real... They're really nice, breathable... Uh, Boxer briefs to wear. That was a terrible shot. They're a hundred percent polyester, and they're like so comfortable. They're like the most comfortable underwear you could possibly ever wear. Oh, deflected by the goalie. St. Louis looking like they're on the power play right now. Turn around and shoot it. St. Louis with the goal. It went right between the goalie's legs, it looked like. Oh, no, it didn't. It went to the left of him. It looked like it went through his legs at first. Huh. So St. Louis ties the game up with 5-10 left in the second period. Oh, okay. Oh, is St. Louis going to pull a Philadelphia here? But yeah, it took, I was looking online and like Amazon. So like, first off, Haynes doesn't seem, they're Haynes underwear that I, that I had. It doesn't seem like, I don't think Haynes produces... They don't have the same kind of fabric anymore. It's like they do like a... They have some kind that they do now that's like... Some percent polyester and some percent like rayon or cotton or something like that. And like for me, I just... Like I know what I want. I know what I like. And I'm just trying to find the same kind. So I happen after spending like hours... Like literally I think a couple hours just looking for underwear on Amazon because... Well, between Amazon and then, like, reading reviews and seeing what people had to say about them. Like, one brand, people were saying, oh, this is, like, a fake Hanes. Oh, my God, what a glove save. They were like, this is a fake Hanes brand. This isn't, like, actual Hanes. It's like, oh, 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 my goodness. That guy's lost all control. Um... So, I don't know if the other ones that I got, uh, that I ended up buying even are either but no one said that they're like off brand because even Haynes they, they sell like similar kind and they say they're also imported so I mean the kind from Amazon said they're imported as well so I'm assuming that like they probably could be legitimate Haynes they're both just having to be imported or something I don't know so like I'll just have to wait and see but they had like a couple different a few different colors supposedly in the pack so we'll see what colors I end up getting but uh, I did find like the one, the kind that are 100% polyester. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow! At the buzzer, but it was obviously too late. So gold, that was not a goal. Tie game still going into the third. We're set up for an explosive and exciting third period here. Game seven, the series on the line for St. Louis and for Dallas. So, yeah, that took a while just to research that. And then after that, then I was like, you know what? While I'm on Amazon, I'm like, you know what? I might as well buy some new bed sheets uh, and a new blanket. Because the other, this blanket I've got, I've had it for a little while, but it's, and it's red. Or like a, kind of like a brick red or um, burgundy. It's, yeah, burgundy is probably the better color. It's burgundy uh, blanket. It's very soft and nice, but it's not like a micro fleece, I'm sure. But it's something kind of like that. And um, and it's got a hole in it, and it like sheds. Oh my God! What a save! It sheds when it gets washed and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that this one, this new one I got, like doesn't shed like that when it gets washed, because it's like the fabric's like falling off. Off. It's like red, and it sticks to stuff. Um, and so like things that I dry with it also get like the stuff stuck to it and crap and so I have to end up like lint rolling like red pieces off of stuff sometimes and even on my socks and 
which is really annoying. So, so I bought a new uh, <clears throat> micro freeze micro fleece blanket. I can use shoots off the goalpost. Damn. Uh, and then new sheets and then they were like 30 bucks for 1800 thread count sheets that had a boatload of reviews on Amazon glove save um, Which you know 1800 thread count sheets you're normally spending like over a hundred bucks for that um, So it was like 32 bucks For 1800 thread count sheets people when I read the reviews people were saying oh, it's like the softest thing I would never buy stuff online, but like I tried these and these are the things are fantastic They're so soft to sleep on and it's like closest thing to being like satin sheets and satin sheets. If you've ever had satin sheets, they're very nice and comfortable. Um, I've had satin sheets before, believe it or not, or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, so I ended up buying those. And so like Saturday was just like so much time, like just spent. I was very productive on Saturday. Then Sunday I was kind of like, meh. Oh my God. God, what a save. Wow, that was really close. St. Louis almost got scored on there. Sunday, I was just... Oh, picked off. Sunday, I was a lazy bum. I don't even know what I did on... I didn't really do anything on Sunday. Um, I could have put my clothes away, but I didn't. So I still have clothes laying on my bed. <laughs> Shoots! Oh, deflected. St. Louis looking. Oh, such a bad pass. So much traffic and congestion right now. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell I did on Sunday, if anything. Good save. Um, I played video games with Preston for like a couple hours. Oh, that's right. My brother came over on Sunday. Duh. So Sunday morning I woke up and... What did I do? I felt like I did something Sunday morning. I don't remember what the hell I did Sunday morning. There was something I did Sunday morning, I swear. But I don't really remember. Oh, it was the Madden tournament stuff. That's right. So I, that was when I was putting together the video for the Madden sub tournament and trying to just go through and figure out, like, if things were in order or not to be able to do one of those again and how it would work. Shoot it. One timer. Oh, what a save. All right, so we're half almost halfway through the third, tied at 1. Imagine game 7 goes to OT. Dallas wins the draw. Oh, he turned it over in his own zone. Shoots. Oh. So, I don't know, did he get it? Was that like, did it hit off his glove or something? I'm not really sure. Good save there. I don't know if the goal even, if it even hit the goalie or not. It looked like it hit something, but. So there's all that. Um, Yeah, so I did that. Then my brother came over, and since it was like it was a rainy day yesterday, um, we decided we didn't ride bikes this time, like we've been doing on Sundays for a couple of few weeks now. We uh, don't get a penalty, St. Louis. Um, we decided to watch that movie Good Boys, and we played a, a round of golf uh, on the Rory Rory McIlroy PGA Tour game. Um, and then after he left, I, oh my gosh, that was interesting. After that, then I basically just played, I think, I think I, oh yeah, then I just played Coin Masters because in Coin Master, um, they had, um, I ended up spending some money in there. I spent like 10 bucks because they had a thing. Oh, uh, maybe it was, was it 10? Something like that. It was like 10 or 11 bucks or something like that. Goal, Dallas. Oh, my God. St. Louis, how did you give up that boring-ass goal right there? That was just kind of boring and easy. 
Damn. He was not expecting the shot. Really, I mean, that's what it comes down to. I mean, it wasn't like he couldn't see. It's not like he didn't have a visual. He just couldn't react fast enough, and he was expecting them to probably push down more. Wow, so Dallas leading by one with 5.04 left in the game, potentially. St. Louis, man, you better turn up the pressure here. You need a goal to tie this thing up, buddies. And that's not how you're going to end up tying the game is by turning it over. Oh my gosh, we're just getting murdered down there now. Damn, it seemed like St. Louis had a lot of momentum because they were constantly pressuring Dallas defensively, it seemed like, or offensively. And then, like, Dallas now is, like, obviously on the... St. Louis with the one-timer. He was waiting for it. Damn. So just like that, 259 left in the game or in the period possibly now. We have a tie game at two. So two goals within like th three minutes. Well, actually two minutes or so. Two minutes and some change. God, I'm scared, guys. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Are we going to have an overtime period or not? That is the question. Oh, God. He just, look at that. There's like three defenders around him. Oh, turned it over in the neutral zone. Bad turnover for Dallas there. Oh my god, that is such a bad turnover. Oh my gosh. Oh, he turns it over to neutral. Oh, he turns it back over to neutral zone. A lot of turnovers. Why did you just run into that guy? That oh my god. Goal. Wow, deflected off of the stick. It was a deflection off of the guy's stick? Yeah, he just... Stuck his stick out and redirected it. Wow, St. Louis, dude. You seriously about to get beat at home in game seven with all the mom you had all the momentum. And you just like gave it away here. Now they have to pull their goalie. You got less than a minute to tie the game up. Can St. Louis do it? I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it. I feel like no. I don't know if St. Louis has it, guys. I don't think they got it in them. Oh, God. Empty netter opportunity. Goal. Wow. St. Louis, dude. St. Louis, F off, man. You guys are bums. You guys are bums. You can't give that up. No one was even trying. He wasn't even, like, at least get a penalty, man. It's worth it at that point, you know, because you can still pull the goalie and still get a five-on-five. Five. But, no, you just decided that you're pulling the goalie again? Oh, my God. And they almost still turn it over in the neutral zone. Yeah, you can't just, like, keep passing it around. You pull the goalie and then, oh, my God. Oh my god. I was about to say Don't be dicks, Dallas. <laughs> wow, St. Louis, after all that, you tied the they tied the series back up. And then you just gave the game away to Dallas. Mm, mm -mm. Just tragic. It's a tragedy, St. Louis. How could you? Oh, crap. I hope I didn't just... Oh, I think... Uh-oh. Did I really have game sound off that whole time? Uh-oh. I hope not. 
I don't think I did. I think I just accidentally hit a button that turned it off temporarily. All right, guys. Welp. There you have it. Um, Dallas wins that series because St. Louis just collapsed on the final game. You know, they had an opportunity and they just squandered it away. Right? They tied it up two to two at the end there, and then they just they just lost it. All you had to do was hold, you know, basically play for overtime at that point, and they just could not. They weren't putting the pressure on. All right, guys. So that is all for this game. Um, you know, that's all there is to it. Dallas advances. So the final game seven that we'll have for the divisional finals will be Vegas in Calgary. So that will be Wednesday night, seven p.m. Be there or be square. And then once that game is over, then the I'll update the bracket so we have, you know, the the team's position accordingly to the hosters. But essentially, we'll have so. Dallas is in the conference finals, and then um, we've got Dallas, Columbus, and Philly in the conference finals. So once we get the last team figured out, then I'll update the bracket so we have the teams in their respective spots, and then um, you know, then we'll start digging into the conference finals where we'll be at the final four teams. So thank you guys for everyone who stopped by tonight. Appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you all, as usual, for your continued support. Uh, the next premiere, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, should be. And until next time, guys, bye bye